Now that we know about Load Balancer, let's start discussing about Azure Traffic Manager. There's a lot of things that you expect from a Load Balancer, but unfortunately, Azure Load Balancer is binded to a particular region. What if you have resources across geographies? Let's say you got virtual machines and web applications running in different regions in different data centers, maybe some of them in the East US and then some of them in the West US. Today with the advent of e-commerce websites and web applications, you know that these web applications are hosted geographically around the world. So your e-commerce applications like www.myproducts.com probably is hosted in some of the data centers in North America, some of them in Europe and also in Australia. And all of these web servers are solving the same purpose, providing the products to the end users. If that is a situation and that is a scenario, then Load Balancer would not be of any help here because we know for sure that Load Balancer is binded to a region and it's gonna distribute the traffic only to the web servers or web applications in that particular region only. That's where Azure Traffic Manager comes to a rescue and that means that it allows you to control the distribution of network traffic or user traffic to the endpoints running in different data centers around the world. Traffic Manager does that by using the DNS to direct the end user request to the most appropriate endpoint. When I say appropriate endpoint, it would be something that is closest to the end users or how you have configured the Traffic Manager. We'll talk about the various routing methods in Traffic Manager in a bit, but let's understand the whole purpose of Traffic Manager, what it does, and all the good features it has. There are various endpoints that are supported by Traffic Manager, and that includes Azure Virtual Machines, web applications, and other cloud services. You can even host your infrastructure on your premise or in a different cloud. Traffic Manager can still direct the traffic to that web application. That means that you can use Traffic Manager with external non-Azure endpoints. So how does the Traffic Manager select an endpoint? Well, it is selecting the endpoint based on the traffic routing method. Traffic Manager supports different kinds of routing methods to suit different application needs. Once the endpoint is selected, the clients then contact directly to the appropriate service endpoint. When I'm using this term called as endpoint, it just means the entity where your web application is hosted, like an Azure Virtual Machine, web applications or Azure Web Apps or App Services and other cloud services. Just like Load Balancer, Traffic Manager also provides health checks and automatic endpoint failover, enabling you to build high availability applications that are resilient to failure. So that means that even if an entire Azure region goes down, the Traffic Manager still has the capability to direct the traffic to a healthy data center or a healthy region. There are certain specific ways you can use a Traffic Manager. Traffic Manager will help you improve the availability of all your mission critical applications. And that is because it is constantly monitoring your endpoints in Azure and providing automatic failover when the endpoint goes down. And this will improve the responsiveness of high performance applications. Traffic Manager provides faster page loads and provides better end user experience by serving users with a service that is closest to them. So somebody sitting in Australia will be directed to the data center or the web service hosted in Australia. It will not go to the web service hosted in East US. This will be beneficial for administrators. Let's say they are performing service maintenance or upgrading their solutions in one of the data centers. Then Traffic Manager will detect that and send the traffic elsewhere in a different region. You can also combine your on-premise and cloud-based applications. Like we said earlier, Traffic Manager supports external, non-Azure endpoints, and that enables to use hybrid cloud deployments or even on-premise deployments. Traffic Manager distributes traffic for large and complex deployments. It's important to understand the different routing methods that Traffic Manager uses. So in the next lessons, we'll be covering about the four basic routing methods like priority, performance, geographic, and weighted. These methods can also be combined to what is known today as nested traffic manager profiles. Azure has recently added two more routing methods, for example, multi-value and subnet routing methods. We'll talk about these one by one in the next lessons.